This is 7 News. Tonight, homicide detectives sent to investigate a body found in Albany bushland. Spring rain, Perth tops its September average as waterlogging causes headaches at sports grounds. Police give a green light run to rebel bikies through Perth. And an amazing survival story. The WA couple injured after being hit by a king wave. Knocked us straight over and just pushed us for about 20, 30 metres. From the studios of Seven Perth, Blake Johnson. Good evening. First tonight, major crime detectives are in Albany after a body was found in bushland near Holmes. Tracy Moran has been following the story. Tracy, what can you tell us? Blake, the body was found by a resident at about 8 o'clock this morning. It was found in bushland close to homes near the corner of Barnsby Drive and Butts Road in the suburb of Yakamaya. Albany detectives spent the morning door knocking and speaking to nearby residents. The major crime squad arrived at the scene about half an hour ago. They've taken over this investigation. At this stage, police aren't revealing much except that the death is being treated as suspicious. They won't say whether it's a man or a woman and they won't give an approximate age. Hopefully we'll have more details after Major Crime has examined the scene. OK, thanks, Tracy. Only two weeks into September and Perth has already passed the average rainfall for the entire month. It's caused a major problem for the racing industry, forced to again cancel its meeting at Belmont. Rebel bikies from around Australia were given a police escort to South Perth today for a spot of sightseeing. Drivers from Osborne Park to Rockingham were warned to expect delays, but the bikies' tour was aborted because of the rain. Jessica Vanderend reports. A WA couple has described the terrifying moment they were hit by a king wave in the state's north. Stranded and injured in the middle of nowhere, what came next was an incredible determination to survive. Amelia Brun reports. An out-of-control car caused the evacuation of several homes in Marangaroo overnight. The car ploughed into the bedroom wall of a Kearney Way house at 20 past nine. It hit the hot water system and caused a gas main to rupture. Surrounding homes were evacuated for over an hour. No one was injured. A 27-year-old Balladura man will be charged with careless driving. There was chaos in the city this morning after a deep fryer sparked a blaze at a coffee shop. Three people were treated for smoke inhalation, a high-rise was evacuated and a section of Adelaide Terrace shut down. A Brisbane prison is in lockdown tonight after two inmates climbed onto the roof at the Brisbane Correctional Centre. The pair managed to scale a wall this afternoon and climb onto the roof. They then smashed security cameras. Police are trying to negotiate with the pair. It's believed they're protesting a decision to place another prisoner in the detention unit. On the day that would have been the election if Julia Gillard was still Labor leader, the dumped former Prime Minister has broken her silence on the pain of losing power. She revealed she watched last week's election coverage alone and criticises her party's campaign. Still to come in 7 News, disaster hits Colorado. A year of rain in just one day. Dozens of people missing. And on trend on budget, Fashion Festival looks out with the price tags. 7 News is taking the pulse of Perth. People moving in every day. Our eastern suburbs in the spotlight. Midland, Ellenbrook, Guildford. Burglaries, Wakens, Coles. Crime. Get back! Transport. Big broken promise. Housing. Quite stunning the amount of growth out here. Special reports begin Sunday on 7 News. One person was taken to hospital after a collision between a bus and a car in Morley last night. It's unclear what happened, but the back left-hand side of the car was badly damaged. The party bus was able to drive away. Deadly flash flooding in the US state of Colorado has killed at least four people, with dozens more still missing. Several dramatic rescue operations have been caught on camera as hundreds of stranded residents are plucked to safety. A UN report on Syria will overwhelmingly confirm the use of chemical weapons, according to the head of the organisation. Ban Ki-moon says Syria's president was guilty of crimes against humanity and slammed the UN's inability to agree on action. This is a failure by the United Nations. If we continue like this way, then we must be responsible for the history. The US and Russian foreign ministers are continuing their talks on a plan to make safe Syria's chemical weapons. Perth Fashion Festival has put the spotlight on WA's up-and-coming designers. Stylist Andrea Tonkin says looking good doesn't have to break the bank. Saturday Sport now with Adrian Barrich and a hiccup for the Dockers, Barra.
Yes, Blake, a star player is likely to miss the preliminary final as Frio hit the road due to the weather. The Dockers head north as heavy rain makes Fremantle unplayable. And the Rabbitohs just one win away from the NRL Grand Final. From all of us here at 7 Perth, go the mighty Dockers. Yes, and the Fremantle Dockers are set to be without rising star Garrick Ibbotson for next Saturday's preliminary final. Ibbotson is battling to overcome an Achilles injury. Meanwhile, today's bad weather forced the Dockers to move their main training session to Joondalup. Well, big news for Freo. Geelong star Paul Chapman admits he's worried about being suspended after being reported for a high bump in last night's semi-final win over Port Adelaide. The loss of Chapman would be a devastating blow for the Cats ahead of Friday night's preliminary final against Hawthorne. And it was qualifying today for the V8 supercars at Sandown. Ford's Will Davison was start from pole position for tomorrow's big race and he joins us now. Evening, Will. You jumped Jamie Wincup at the start and never looked back. Will Davison, he can catch all the action right here on 7 from 10am tomorrow. The Wallabies are under pressure to break a four-test losing streak as they take on Argentina at a wet and windy Patterson Stadium tonight in front of a modest crowd. Australia has relegated star halfback Will Genia to the bench, while Ben Moen is the new Wallabies captain. The Aussies are yet to win under new coach Ewan McKenzie. And the NRL has promised an inquiry into a refereeing blunder that helped Cronulla knock North Queensland out of the finals today. The Sharks held on for a thrilling 20-18 victory, assisted by a try awarded on an extra tackle, a mistake confirmed by league bosses. And the South Sydney Rabbitohs are just one win away from their first grand final in 42 years after last night defeating the Melbourne Storm 20-10. The Bunnies advance to a preliminary final, while the Storm now face a sudden death final against the Bulldogs or Knights next Saturday. And WA's Nathan Coulter-Nile made his one-day debut for Australia today. That's all in sport. Don't forget the Sydney Carlton game, the semi-final, is on seven, mate, right now. Now he's Blake. Thanks, Barra. I'll have more on our wet weather next, plus the winning numbers for Saturday Night Lotto. Fuel Watch, Perth's petrol prices, brought to you by Fuel Watch and Seven News. As you might have seen earlier, we've had a super wet September. We're not even halfway through the month and we've already passed the September average. It's likely to keep going too with lots of cloud and rain on the forecast for next week. Our maximum for today was 17 degrees at 10am after a low of 11.9 just five hours earlier. We had about nine mils of rain in the city. Right now it's 13.2 outside and the wind is coming from the southwest at 26 kilometres an hour. On the chart, a cold front and low pressure system are moving over central and eastern parts of the state, with the low moving into the bite tomorrow. A cold front will move over the southwest of the state on Monday. Let's have a look around the state. Morning sh showers for Albany with a top of 15. Esperance an early storm. Bunbury partly cloudy 18. Broome sunny and 29. Across the country, showers for Adelaide and Sydney, mostly fine in Melbourne, 21, Brisbane, sunny and 30. There's a strong wind warning out for local waters tomorrow with a southerly at up to 30 knots in the morning. It'll drop off in the afternoon. For Perth, it'll be another cloudy day with isolated morning showers, but they're not expected to be heavy. A shower or two increasing on Monday and very similar conditions for the rest of the week. Now it's time for Saturday Lotto. Good luck. And that's all from the 7 News team for now. I'll be back with updates throughout the evening.